All right, Local Fighters TV here, and I'm with Seth, the Silverback Petrozelli. How's it going, Seth? It's going great, man. Now, yeah. you know, we haven't heard much from you since that last fight. Uh, tell us what's going on with Seth lately. Um, right now, I'm actually just enjoying not getting punched in the face and getting paid instead of uh, not getting punched in the face and getting paid. So I'm doing a little commentating tonight. Uh, I commentated for the last art of fighting, and then before that, I fought Chris Bait and knocked him out. Uh, I just signed with the brand new manager last week, Robert Cardenas. He's Vanderlei Silva's manager, actually. Oh, so uh, working on a few things with the UFC, Strike Force. And talking to Artifact again for their next show. Yeah, let's talk about it. You mentioned Strike Force. That's a new thing going on. You know, you've got uh, a major player going into it, trying to go against UFC. What do you think about that? Right. Uh, I think it's great, man. I think the UFC needs a lot of competition, man. I mean, they're a monopoly right now, and they can afford to pay the fighters what they want, and the fighters have to have to deal with it, you know. So having another organization in there that's going to compete with them, it's going to force them to step up their game. And yeah, I love it. And, I, and, I, and I've heard actually that uh, they're actually paying fighters a little bit more with their work. You know, not looking to market right. them, but to right, right, to just give them what they're worth. All fighters are worth a lot more than what they're getting paid in any organization. So, I mean, any organization that's going to step it up and pay them some money, it's a good thing. <laughs> now, I keep hearing this rumor, and you just set me straight while we were off camera, but I get heard some rumors that you were going to go down to 185. Right. But like we talked about, you're filling that suit out. Yeah, man. No chance. Huh? My last name is Petrozelli, and I like the pasta. They don't call me pasta belly for nothing, man. I like the pasta. I walk around about 225, 230, and then I cut to 205. Um, I fought heavyweight most of my career, and then just cutting down to 205 is a, a decent cut for me, but because I like the pasta too much, so 205 is where I'm <laughs> probably going to sit. Don't we all, brother? Yeah, exactly. Now tell me, what do you think of the art of fighting here? It's a great venue, especially here for uh, Stereo Florida. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, every single one of their fight shows that I've been commentating, the past three or four have been stellar, man. I mean, action-packed fights. They're taking big names from Brazil, the Austin Sal guy, and, and a whole bunch of other guys that are coming in, Crafton Wallace, having some big names on the card. I think they're doing a great job filling out the stadium. And uh, they're doing a good job compensating the fighters as well. Now, I know you're uh, commentating tonight and you got to be impartial, but what do you think? We've got two great fights here. we got the Welderweight WFO Championship right. on the line, and we've also got Crafton Wallace uh, against Reggie York. What do you yeah. think about those two fights? Uh, I like Crafton's been a friend of mine for a long time, so it's kind of hard to, to put anything past him as far as fight goes in a stand up game. It's going to be sick. Yeah. So I'm definitely leaning toward Crafton on that fight for sure. Okay, and what do you think about the uh, WFO? I mean, Helino against Maynard. I mean, those two guys, yeah. when I saw them yesterday, they, they actually looked like they were airbrushed. Oh, they really? were that they tight. Straight like like that. Yeah, that I actually told on the when I was commenting earlier that that's the fight I'm looking forward to most, man, just seeing that. It's honestly too close to call. I really don't want to call that fight, man. I'm excited to see it, though. I think it's going to be a stand up battle, personally. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I mean, they're both strong guys. Uh, they're yeah. going to cancel each other out. I think it's, it's going to be on, it's the, gonna be on, uh, yes. on the feet. On the feet, exactly right. Well, hey, we appreciate you stopping and talking to us here at Local Fighters TV, and we'll definitely look for you at your next fight. Thank you very much. If you guys want uh, any info on me or anything like that, you can follow me on Twitter at Silverback Seth or follow me on Facebook, Silverback Seth as well. So you heard it right there. Go check him out.